Queen City News is uh, continuing to ask questions surrounding three now former Chesterfield County deputies who are off the job after they were charged with making a series of prank phone calls about dead bodies to multiple police departments. After our story about the arrest aired yesterday, a number of Queen City News viewers reached out to us with some additional questions. Well, one asked why one of those now former deputies still had his patrol car and Queen City News anchor Derek Dellinger went looking for those answers. It is a story that has Chesterfield County talking partly because of what reportedly happened, but it's just the latest in a series of things involving the sheriff's office that has people scratching their heads. My first impression is like, I cannot believe this. This man did not want to be identified, but over the last few days, his information has been coming out about three now former Chesterfield County deputies facing charges for reported prank calls. The sheriff's office is now the talk of the county. He's also a viewer who reached out to us because of something he says he saw after our story aired. A sheriff's patrol car at the home of one of the now former deputies after the charges, after the termination, and right in the front yard. It doesn't make any sense to when you get formally charged and you are terminated and they don't go get that vehicle right then you're terminated you're no longer with the sheriff's department but yet and still you still get to keep a sheriff's department vehicle in your yard that tip led us to see for ourselves we went by the home of that now former deputy and sure enough the vehicle was still there you shouldn't sit in your yard while you're on administrative leave especially 24 hours to 48 hours after you're charged we reached out to Chesterfield County Sheriff Campo Streeter about that. In a statement to Queen City News, he told us it had to do more with schedules than anything else, saying that the pickup of the vehicles would be completed by mid-afternoon. We went back by the home shortly after receiving a response. The vehicle was gone. This whole ordeal, though, involving the reported prank calls is just the latest story Queen City News has covered within the Chesterfield County Sheriff's Office. Last month, Queen City News Chief Investigator Jody Barr's story on an uninvestigated child sex assault case led to the resignation of a captain. There were also issues with access to their website and email system because of invoices that were sent to a former employee. As the viewer we spoke with described it, there's been a lot. The prank calls, though, are something else. Like my mother used to tell me, how stupid can you get when you think nobody can get any more stupid? This happens. Even though the sheriff's office is not commenting on the arrest of those former deputies, we have made a point of reaching out to the police departments to get more information and even a comment from them on what exactly happened here. So far, they have not gotten back to us. We have also reached out to one of those former deputies, but they have not gotten back to us either. In Chesterfield County, Derek Dellinger, Queen City News.